What's up, everybody? Justin Hayes here from Superhuman Pursuits today, talking about the TFL. And uh, what the TFL is, is a hip flexor. Starts here in the hip and extends into the upper thigh. It's on the uh, front side of your body. I would recommend you head out over to Wikipedia to look the actual muscle up, take a look at it where it actually resides and how it runs, the direction it runs in. That can help a lot whenever you're doing uh, myofascial release work in this area. TFL stands for tensor fascia latte, and I might have butchered that, but once again, Wikipedia will probably give you a, a better, better uh, answer to that. Let me show you the tools that I prefer in this area. I do use my quad baller from TP Therapy and my PVC roller. You might use a foam roller. It's a, a substitute for this. Now, these two devices, the techniques are interchangeable. So I'll show them on the foam roller, PVC roller here, and just know that they work for the TP Therapy quad baller as well. And the quad baller is going to be a bit more focal. It's going to provide a little more pressure. So it is a natural progression from your foam roller or PVC roller to that tool. Next, down the uh, progression chain here is softball, lacrosse ball. Ball work is something that is instrumental to the TFL area. When you're doing using broader tools like a foam roller, they're only going to provide release for so many sessions. You're going to have to graduate to ball work. And uh, I'll show you both of those. Once again, the techniques on softball and lacrosse ball are interchangeable. Last but not least, I do do some manual work, kind of some hands-on therapy with the nobbler. You can do it with your thumb as well. I'll show you that at the tail end. First off, PVC roller, foam roller for you. All you're doing is finding your TFL here, the hip. And you see my knee out front here and my foot down on the back side. That's going to take away a lot of the pressure. And so this is your entry point to this area, right? This is where you start. Next progression, you're going to go ahead and uh, take your foot back. And you can you know, elevate it a little or lap it over the top of the other one. That's going to provide a little more pressure. And then I like to kick this heel back towards my uh, butt here. And that's going to elongate the TFL area there and give you a little bit access to a little bit more and you're going to get a different kind of release there. And then last but not least here, you can actually bring this other leg up, double up, and address it like that. As I said, those uh, techniques are interchangeable with the TP Therapy quad baller, so give it a whirl. Ball work very similar to the stuff I just showed you. I'll demonstrate on the softball. Same principle, knee out to start, right? Kicking that knee out. And you can elevate it here, put it around the back. And then you can lift up here as well. But what I might advise is it's very difficult to lift both and keep your balance here. So I would. Uh, advise against that for now. And then something I, I do do that would probably be the final progression that's going to apply the, the most pressure is I'll elevate my back legs on a foam roller or a PVC roller. You can use anything for this. I, I always use what's at hand and that's it. What's, uh, what's at hand. So here we are and you can see I have both my legs elevated here and I'm rolling. And you can do the same thing here. You can elevate just this one on here. And roll and uh, you know kick your knee back there, and that is ooh this is rough rough for me. Last little manual therapy with the nobbler, nothing crazy here. I usually do it from a, a chair seated position, and all you're doing is, is finding trigger points in that area. Hold, wait for some release, let go, and you're just manually searching for the tougher knots in that area. Those are my best techniques for that area. I'd love to hear your suggestions on your end or any other feedback. Leave me a comment below or hit me up on my website, www.superhumanpursuits.com. Talk to you later.